Hello everyone, welcome back to In My Shed, I'm BC. Today we've got just a bit of work on angle brackets for the boring mill, uh, the cross between shape of work and facing it off in the milling machine. I don't have a facing head big enough to get down past the flank of the angle plate until I realised I made a fly cutter a few years ago that I've never actually commissioned. So the first bit of the video will be doing the last face on the shaper and then we'll go up to the milling machine and try the fly cutter. Whether one is better than the other depends on the rigidity and I don't think I'll be able to take a very big cut with the fly cutter as it's a bit flimsy and it uses the same left hand turning tool that I put in my boring mill extension shaft that was in one video about three months ago. So I'll dismantle that tool and put it into the fly cutter and back up into the mill. I'll reposition the camera, put a light up and do one pass in the shaper. You can see how it runs. The shaper, even with high speed steel, gets underneath the mill scale and there's no damage to the tool. And this is rather cheap cobalt high speed steel tool bits I got from a place over in America, uh, Victory Tools. Even though it's cheap Chinese stuff, it works really well. It's very, very hard. Okay, reposition the camera and you can see what's happening. Here we are looking at the workpiece on the shaper. Uh, almost set up, ready to start the motor up and take a light cut. I'll bring the tool down till it just engages, back away and then put about another half a mil on. I'm trying to leave as much material in these angle plates as I can, as they will be doing a fair bit of clamping. Okay, let's make some noise. Touched off there, put a bit over half a melt. and set the feed in the right direction. I put a bit of cutting compound on there. I don't like using fluid if I can get away from it, it just messes everything up and we've got to clean up afterwards. Now as I'm coming in from an edge that's already been milled, it's underneath the mill scale right like from the start. Another reason I like the shaper, with the shift box around the vice here, collecting all the swarf, there's very little clean up to do after the job. It's a very surprising piece of angle iron. Uh, this side is reasonably flat and even, but the other side I had to take two millimetres off it to get it flat. I'd hate to be putting this into structural work at the system. Uneven piece of rubbish material. You've also got to be very careful when it gets to the far side as you can't get right into the corner before the tool hole that hits the job. Ok, it won't bore you with any more shaper action. I'll bring you back in and show you some tools after this has made the pass. Looks like it's going to get it first time, which is pretty quite good. This is the HBM extension bar that I built in a previous episode, and that's the left hand tool holder I'll be taking out of there and putting into the fly cutter. I'll bring you back when the fly cutter is ready to go. Well, here we are back on the mill. Uh, applied a little bit of gooey goop on there. I don't like spraying oil everywhere if I can avoid it. Only taking about a thou and a half cut, so we see if it works. It's certainly throwing a spray of metal off, but it's very, very fine changing. I'm surprised it can operate with such a light feed. Looks like they're cleaning up reasonably well.
Jesus says if you're doing the job reasonably well. Okay, I'll put a bit more goop on. Just another thing and a half. Go a little bit more. I'm surprised it can take such a right cut. It's smoking up the cutting pole band, I think I'm just about at the max speed for the insert. Run a few more passes on the noisy old Melbourne and bring you in to look at the finish. Here's a close up of the left hand turning tool in the fly cutter. I think the success is because of the extremely small radius on the insert, it's only a 04 radius. Swing across to the plate. Total removed was about 7 thou. The scratchy surface is due to me retracting back across the work without any uh, cut or any load on it. So the insert just scratches rather than actually cuts, but I'm pleased with that for an angle plate for the borer. It'll do quite well. Next job will be drilling and slotting the attaching holes. Bye for now. Please like and subscribe.